how to make 2024 your year. I'm going to give you candid advice that helped me make 2024 the best year so far. I really wanted to share some tips that are very realistic for and relatable for everyone and also something that I haven't seen other people are sharing online. Hello everyone, I'm Valeria and this is Mind the Grad. On my YouTube channel I share tips and advice on studying and working in the UK and beyond. But I also share some motivation and tips uh, for young professionals or maybe developing professionals. Today I'm filming a video to finish 2024 with some really good tips that will help you not just achieve your career goals but other goals that you probably have set for yourself for next year. Why should you listen to me when it comes to setting your goals and achieving your goals next year? Well, uh, let me be frank. 2020. 2021, 2022, 2023 were good years for me, but they were not my years. I didn't feel like, wow, this has been such a successful year. And I'm not talking about money or material things, or maybe some kind of promotions um, in your career and so on. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how I felt in the end of the year, but more importantly, how did I compare um, to other years of my life? I don't think we should be comparing ourselves to big YouTubers or people out there that get this amazing job or uh, get included in 30 under 30 Forbes uh, nominations. But I'm talking about us, normal humans that have a lot of priorities in life, different aspects, and want to make sure that they're living a fulfilling life. And for me, 2023 was successful because I'm comparing it to my previous years, not everyone else's years. So let me give you just a little bit of a highlight what was important for me and what I have achieved. Travel more, be more happy, pass driver's license, buy a car. We bought the first car. Um, register my company as a limited company grow a team, uh, help even more clients, get even more amazing offers, grow an income, let's be honest, that was one of my goals. I held my first offline event, which I really, really was looking forward to meet all of my past, current clients. I launched a new product, I created a new product, completely new uh, grad circle community of international students that I have finished, but it's going to launch in 2024, early 2024. Valeria, you seem super happy about 2023. Tell us, tell us how we can have the same fulfillment in 2024. And I'm gonna tell you frankly, there are three main things and I've made notes. First thing that I want to say is super important is sort out your health focus on your health in the first instance and this means physical health and mental health i think that the main problem with health or just generally with well-being is that we get a lot of advice from people that don't feel the same way uh, for example our parents our friends they just don't have the same problems with the health maybe they're not they don't experience back pain or they don't have anxiety or they don't have allergies and so on and it's really hard for them to understand what we're going through they give us advice and we think that we should follow that advice because well they want the best for us but in reality only you know what's really best for you and you should seek treatment if it's possible to get treatment and your condition can be treated really get help Sometimes it means that you have to go see a few doctors. I'm talking about emotional health, I'm talking about physical health. A lot of doctors probably won't help you as well because everyone has different strategies, everyone has different methods of um, treating. Some doctors don't take you seriously and so on. I think that if you feel great physically and mentally, sometimes it might even mean going to therapy, then you'll feel much better about your goals and focusing yourself this is the first priority it's really hard to be productive and focus on things that are important when your basic need like well-being is not met maybe you're not sleeping well maybe you're not eating well maybe you are in chronic pain maybe you don't have light energy and so on you really need to focus on it and um, fix it and make it your priority. Luckily, in the UK, the, the healthcare is free. As we know, it's not as amazing, but uh, there are always ways to get help. And if you have to invest financially into it, unfortunately, um, this is the reality nowadays, but investing in your health is the best investment you can make. For example, being a fresh graduate or being an immigrant, it's very stressful. So sometimes it can take a toll on your 
uh, mental health, not only physical. To give you a personal uh, example, after I had COVID two times and after second uh, disease or COVID, I unfortunately didn't feel too well physically. I had chronic pain and um, it kind of added on to anxiety and I spent I think, most of the last year trying to fix it. I, if I did listen to advice that it's going to pass and it will sort itself out, I don't think that I would have made 2023 my year. But I took, with the help of my family, uh, a lot of decisions to get uh, help and find the right doctor. And now I feel 90% better, or maybe 80% better, which is really, really great. Number two that I really, really suggest you should do is kind of relates to the first point, but take control of things. They will not fall into place things will not just figure themselves out. You have to make some difficult decisions and you have to take control. Just like you have to take care of your health yourself, no one's going to fix you. No one's gonna fix your mental health unless you do the work as well. And with other aspects of your life, no one's going to make those difficult decisions for you. You're probably already 18 years and above if you're watching this video, looking at my audience. So it's hard to hear the truth, but you're an adult that has to take your own decisions and you have to take control. If you're going to be waiting for an amazing job to just figure itself out, for a decision whether you should study further or not to arrive, to for some kind of um, career path fall into on your plate, it's not going to happen. If I wanted to grow my business, I had to focus on growing my business, I had to take decisions, I had to take risks myself. It didn't just happen just because I was doing something. That's a hard a reality that I've learned in 2023 that I am <laughs> obviously or was already 30 years old, but I have to stand up for myself sometimes, take the risks and trust myself to make decisions. Even if I fail, at least I'll feel confident that I have taken that action. A lot of people have opinions on how my undergrad should be growing, how my team should be growing, my products and so on. And I've always listened to everyone, but I realized that it's only me who can make those decisions. It's only me who, that can uh, really decide and should decide on how uh, my company is going to grow. And when I realized that, that I know the best, what's right, whatever the uh, result is, I felt very more confident to take risks and launch a new product. I think that it applies to the career. If you're gonna be listening to all these people telling you what to do, even career consultants like me, unless you're ready to make the decision yourself, uh, you will not feel satisfied with the result. You'll always feel like someone else has decided something for you. And the third advice that I want to tell you is that you have to focus on what is important and set realistic goals. This is kind of two advice in one, but I just wanted to, to wrap it up. First of all, focus on what is important and prioritize what is important. Let me explain. Let's say getting a, a dream job in the UK or any dream job is your priority, but just like your main goal for 2024, but the amount of time and effort you're spending on that goal is not proportionally uh, the same as how much you value that goal. I have a lot of clients that say, wow, you know, it's my only aim to get this job, but then they spend time working in other jobs or, uh, I don't know, focusing on the relationships, focusing on the hobbies, traveling and so on. This is just an example. But you have to realize that unless you focus correctly on your goal uh, in terms of time and effort, only then it will pay off. It kind of falls into the second point that things are not just going to figure themselves out. You have to put the effort. Um, so try to shift your focus. If you have certain goals, make sure that the actions you take <laughs> are related to these goals and you're not wasting your energy, your uh, impact on something that is not that important for you just because it feels easy to do it's so much easier to take a job that you don't want just for the sake of taking it or it's so much easier to uh, fall into uh, misery and think about how difficult is life instead of taking action and focusing on uh, what you can actually do and you have to set realistic goals because if you're not going to set realistic goals and you're just going to say, well, next year, by the time I graduate in October 2024, I want to have a job that is amazing, pays 40,000 pounds and sponsors me for a visa in the UK. 
I mean, maybe it will happen for you, but it's a little bit unrealistic because you'll have your whole degree to finish. Um, you're probably going to be busy with exams. Then the job uh, market is not doing amazing. You don't have any experience and so on. So probably the realistic goal would be to finish your degree successfully and then start on the career journey and start uh, looking for that dream job and make progress, maybe have one into you. And um, I'm not saying you have to sell yourself uh, short or don't set any goals, but when we, for example, uh, year after year, I have um, set myself unrealistic income goals that did make me feel disappointed, but I realize now that they were just not realistic considering all the capabilities uh, I have and the time I have and um, some beliefs that I have. Be realistic with what you can achieve, be ambitious, but don't stress yourself out by, again, setting goals that are not probably uh, for your current situation. Again, returning to the beginning of this video, how I said you should be focusing on comparing yourself to previous years. So set yourself a goal that you feel is realistic considering what you've been achieving year after year in terms of income, progress, and so on. In summary, I really think that all of us can achieve whatever they desire, whatever they set for themselves. That's the point of this video. I feel that there is a lot of um, fake advice, productivity advice that doesn't take into account that we have a lot of things going on in our physical health, personal health, personal life matters. All of these things take attention away from our achievements. All of these things make us tired, sad, uh, anxious, um, and just impact how well we can do in life. So um, just remember there is no such a thing as overnight success, there is no such a thing as an amazing career straight after university, it's a process and enjoy what benefits can give um, each stage of your life. These things that I've shared with you help me a lot, um, I hope they'll make your next year also much better at least if I can help at least one person uh, change uh, the trajectory of 2024, I'll be really, really happy. I'll be there in 2024 with more advice on this YouTube channel, on um, my Instagram, make sure you follow there on other pl platforms. But most importantly, I kind of already hinted that I'm launching a new product, which is going to be a community for international students, online community that will, that will encompass um, a forum, a blog, uh, a social media, media platform, a uh, networking platform, uh, online meetings, online courses, online materials, probably some job postings, everything. It's going to be one place, one stop for an uh, international student that wants to make a career in the UK or build a successful career in the UK and beyond. So I will see you in January inside my community. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and let's make 2024 amazing together. Thank you and bye.